Hello and welcome back to the Micro Learning Institute. In this short tutorial, we're having a look at the ACCA F7 paper from June 2008, specifically at a question called Pingwei. Pingwei, we are told, issued a $10 million, 3% convertible loan note at par on the 1st of April 2007, with interest payable annually in arrears. Three years later, on the 31st of March 2010, the loan note is convertible into equity shares on the basis of $100 of loan note for 25 equity shares, or it may be redeemed at par in cash at the option of the loan holder. We're also told that the present value of $1 receivable at the end of the year based on discount rates of both 3% and 8% can be taken as displayed in the following table. So you can see we're given uh, at 3% and 8% a discount factor for $1 receivable both at the end of year 1, year 2 and year 3. The requirement is that we must show how the convertible loan note should be accounted for in Pingwei's income statement for the year ended the 31st of March 2008 and the statement of financial position as at that date. Now, this is a compound instrument and IFRS 9 recommends the treatment here that we split this compound instrument into both its debt and equity components. So, in order to look at the debt component, we must prepare an amortization schedule. So here, we look at, for each period, what is the cash outflow that Pingwei will pay in respect of this financial liability, by how much must we discount that? Now, of course, the, we discount it at the market rate at 8%. Consequently, what is the present value of this future cash flow? And of course, ultimately, how do we treat it in the income statement and on the statement of financial position? At the end of the first year, Pingwei must issue a check for $300,000 in respect of this financial liability. After one year at 8%, this future cash flow is discounted by a factor of 0.93 from the table, meaning that in present value terms, the future payment in one year of $300,000 is equivalent in present value terms to a payment right now of $279,000. Similar for year two, we, we write a check for another $300,000 thousand dollars and we discount it this time at a factor of 0.86 to a present value of two hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars and finally in year three we write a total check for an amount of three hundred thousand dollars for interest but of course additionally ten million dollars to redeem the bond at par at the end of year three so this total ten million three hundred thousand dollars must be discounted at 8% after 3 years by a factor of 0.79, giving us a present day equivalent value of $8.137 million. So the total of these 3 future cash flows expressed in present value terms is 8.674 and this is the value of the debt component. This is the value uh, that the market rate would place on the future cash flows given the discount of 8%. So we see of course that this is a, a debt component so this is represented on our statement of financial position as a financial liability. But of course Pingwei didn't just pay 8.674 million dollars for this uh, for this instrument. Pingwei paid 10 million dollars and the excess amount of 1.326 million dollars is deemed to be the value of equity and as a consequence is recognized on the statement of financial position of, of Pingwei as equity. So now we have a loan of 8.674 million dollars plus additional equity of 1.326 million dollars and the sum of these represent the 10 million dollars that Pingwei has received for this instrument. Now let's look at how this is represented on both the income statement and the statement of financial position. Let's take an extract from each. So firstly, we see that given that our loan is $8.674 million and the market interest rate on that loan is 
In our income statement for the year ended the 31st of March 08, we recognize an interest expense of $693.2,000 in respect of this uh, financial liability. Also, on our statement of financial position, we have a non-current liability, which is made up of the original recognized $8.674 million of the debt instrument, plus the interest that has accrued that we've just recognized to our income statement of 693.2, less, of course, the cash of $300,000, which represents our payment in arrears at the end of year one. So consequently, the non-current liability that's recognized in respect of the loan is $9.067 million. Similarly, or additional to this, we recognize the full amount of equity at $1.326 million on our statement of financial position. Thank you very much for looking at this short overview of the ACCA's June 08 question, Pingwei, from the Microlearning Institute.